I just wanted to say something about public health and why we care about this. A lot of the leading causes of death are actually preventable. And if you look at what's bolded, these are behaviors that people choose to do in their lifestyle and things that we can help people to modify if they want to. The problem is that for a lot of people, you might decide, well, I'd like to change this behavior, and I do a lot of work in obesity, and so people may want to eat a little more healthy or do a little more physical activity, but, and they know some of the things they need to do, but actually implementing that in their busy lives and making that happen and maintaining motivation is really difficult. So we've developed some technology tools to help people change those behaviors and maintain motivation over time. And I'm just going to use the case of obesity because this is the research that I do. But if we look at the prevalence of obesity, 66% of adults are overweight or obese in the U.S. And if we do the math from the 2004 census of 218 million U.S. adults over 18, 66% of those would be 144 million. So we can't really serve 144 million overweight and obese adults with hospital-based clinics or other things that we do because we don't have enough registered dietitians and treatment providers, and we just really don't have enough healthcare resources at this point to um, help people to change these behaviors using traditional means. And that's just one of those causes of death that I um, presented there. There could be many, many other um, millions of people that we could include in the mix if we were thinking about trying to really change population health around all of these preventable causes of disease. So the internet is, you know, preaching to the choir here, but I go around talking in public health, or at least did when I started this, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, talking about why we could use the internet and the fact that it does bring people together and that it offers us a wide approach. And so over the years in public health, we've actually coined the term internet intervention, and there was a definition for that that was developed by a colleague at UVA, Lee Ritterband, and some of his um, collaborators, that they're typically behaviorally or what we call cognitive behaviorally, so we talk about what people think and what people do affect um, are, uh, are important in affecting health and, and uh, lifestyle, and that we've operationalized those treatments and transformed them for delivery via some type of technology. And usually these are based on what we've developed as highly effective face-to-face -face treatments, and then we figured out how to transform or use the technology for a specific function. And over time, they've included things um, that are personalized to the user. They're typically interactive, enhanced by graphics, have animation, and, and as technology changes, different technologies are coming in to serve the function. So we don't provide information necessarily only with text. We can obviously do a lot more with video today as we have more broadband um, penetration. So um, they're very specific interventions that we have developed that are not just information-based. Hopefully you'll take away from this definition.